L-carnitine. Does it work for fat loss? Is it any good for fat loss? Is it a useful supplement for fat loss? Is it worth supplementing with L-carnitine? The reason I got to get into some of this kind of stuff is I see continually people will, these pseudoscience experts will come out, and I say pseudoscience because they're interested in science, real science, but they're not actually scientists. Okay, so there's the first fatal flaw. Second fatal flaw is they're not actually bodybuilders. So that's really double whammy on their advice. So first, they don't really understand the studies. They don't even understand that studies are largely flawed, hugely flawed. And that anything to do with physiology, human physiology, the human body is by far in no way, shape, or form an exact science at all. We only understand the basics. We under, we're just scratching the surface. That's why doctors have a license to practice medicine. To practice. And then that they don't have any actual hands-on success, one way or the other, with the topic that they're speaking on totally just discredits everything they say thereafter as far as putting anything into action that we can actually use, or utilize, benefit from. So I see a lot of these guys, and I've seen one where L-carnitine, well, there's, there's no actual proof that it, that it assists in, in, the, in body fat reduction or burning body fat, and that uh, the science isn't really there to support that, and et cetera, et cetera. Let me first say, reiterate this for the umpteenth millionth time, if all you do is let these studies guide you without actually experiencing anything and learning anything, actually learning anything for yourself about your own physiology and your own body, you're not going to get there. I mean, is that a surprise to you? You're not going to get there. You see all these guys that are famous for quoting the studies and they don't have a physique worth of shit. They just don't have it. Some of these guys have been on here for years now. For years! And you'll see videos of them working out and exercising, lifting weights, and they'll tell you till they're blue in the face that they, they gonna, they're going to tell you what's wrong with the way I got big like this, that I don't know what I'm doing, or somebody has similar physique. We don't know what we're doing. We just got like this by accident. Or the famous, you know, default is it's all drugs, which, you know, 56 years old, I'm still here, I'm healthy, and I'm still pretty big. Nowhere near as big as I was in my prime, nowhere near as strong as I was, but... Out of a cross section uh, across the United States of men in my age group, I'm in 1% of the upper 1 percentile. That's what my own doctor told me. Um, so clearly, I do know a little bit about this kind of an endeavor, and most importantly, longevity. Longevity, not a flash in a pan. Uh, I didn't just look good for five minutes out of my life. But a lot of these YouTubers, they still don't look good. They don't look good. They're not fit. They're not fit at all. But you're like that guy. These guys guide you. So let me get back to the topic. l carnitine in this instance, there's plenty more I have to talk about along this similar line, and I will. But l carnitine listen, if you're doing cardio, and you're, first of all, you must be doing effective cardio. You must understand how to do effective cardio if your goal is the reduction of body fat, if in other words, you're doing cardio to improve the appearance of your physique, and that's your first primary goal, then there's a particular way to achieve effective cardio. So once you understand effective cardio and you're doing that and you're familiar with that, add in three grams of L-carnitine, liquid L-carnitine before you do your cardio, and it has to be on an empty stomach. Yes, it, it has to be what they call fasted cardio which for me, my fasted cardio is when I get out of bed in the morning because I fasted all night while I was asleep. Didn't take much effort to do that, but that's what I did. All right, and the reason being is you need to add L-carnitine in there on an empty stomach. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to be absorbed the same way. It's not going to be absorbed in the same timing, and it's not going to really be available the way you need it to be available and do what you need it to do by the time you get on a treadmill or 
elliptical, whatever piece of equipment is your flavor. Now, you t you do, if you already know how to do effective cardio, as I've already stipulated, you know what that feels like, looks like, smells like, tastes like. Throw in the, add in the L-carnitine, liquid L-carnitine, three grams, that's 3,000 milligrams, probably 15 minutes before you get on the treadmill, on an empty stomach, fasted. Now, when you get off the treadmill, guess what? You're going to be a believer. Tell me, find me one, one person, one, that will do that, that meets these criteria, and tell, will come back here and tell me they didn't burn more body fat. Did you sweat like three times as much from that L-carnitine? Yeah. How do you think your body generated that sweat? Heat. Heat. Thermogenesis. Yeah. So however you want to slice it, dice it, chop it up, or explain it away. You know, adding in that L-carnitine versus not. That L-carnitine was able to deliver you to a place where you burn more calories on that treadmill. You burn more body fat on that treadmill. So, again, proof is in the pudding. Instead, if you want to talk about it, sit around and talk about it. Play fantasy football all day long rather than go out and actually play football. I don't care. If you want to play fantasy bodybuilding or fantasy physique development, go ahead. I don't care because I'm not in that category. So I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. But if you take the L-carnitine before you do your cardio, you're going to come back and say, wow, you know, that, that's amazing. Yeah, there's no question. No question that it caused a hugely enhanced thermogenic effect. There you go. Proof as it is. Don't need a study to tell me otherwise. And probably most of you out there already know, you already know this. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. Just come back from the gym. Got to get uh, some uh, food in me. Take care, and I'll be back very shortly with something along a similar line.